up guys? I wanted to do a video on a new application uh, that's had a lot of hype the last few days and now it's actually released in the App Store. Uh, you can download this, links in the description or you can just go in the App Store and download it. Uh, and this app is Skype for iPhone and iPod Touch. If you don't know, this is a desktop application uh, and it'll let you call people from on residential business. Uh, you do need credits for that, which you have to pay for. I'll also let you instant message and video chat with people. Uh, video chatting is not on the iPhone or iPod, obviously. Uh, but what you can do with this is call people and instant message and all that from the iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, uh, since this app has had so much hype and a lot of people probably going to be doing reviews on it, I wanted to make mine a little bit different and uh, show you a little trick with this. As I said, you do have to pay for credits on uh, Skype, but what you can do, as you see, I have no credits for Skype credit. Uh, you can call people for free, and there's two numbers that you can do this for. Uh, one is Google 411, which is 1-800-GOOG-411. And the other is 1-800-FREE-411. I'll have these in the description. Um, I would recommend using the free 411. You can call residential business uh, phone numbers. And it's 100% free, and I will show you that. As you've seen, I, had, I have no Skype credits, so let's go ahead. I do 1-800. Make sure you still have the plus in there. 373-3411. Three, 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 which if you look at the keypad... Uh, it does spell out free 411 and then we're going to hit call okay and it's telling me that I have no microphone uh, that's because I don't have a plug in So basically what you're going to have to do is just go through that little uh, menu and say what where you want to call, what business, or what resident. And you do have to listen to that little ad, but that's how they do this for free, uh, is being able to play an ad during that. Now, as you see, I did do that on my iPod Touch, because you've seen the microphone thing come up. Uh, this is on my iPod Touch 2nd generation. If you want to do this on your iPod Touch 2nd generation, you will need a headset with a mic. Uh, which you can get from Apple. You can pick it up at the Apple store. I would have did this on my iPhone. You can't do this from the iPhone. Uh, I would have did it on it, but my iPhone is up to the 3.0 software, and it was giving me a lot of problems. Uh, and as you see, Skype just crashed on my iPod Touch. So it is a little bit buggy. Um, I'm sure they will provide updates to fix some of this. Uh, but doing a reboot of your iPhone or iPod should help that. So I wanted to show you guys this. not going to really do a review of the app. you got your contacts, your chats your call or your dial pad and you can also hit the contacts button to see your contacts and give them a call if you have Skype credits and yeah that's basically it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah thanks for watching don't forget to rate five stars I really really appreciate that that five stars and if you really enjoyed this don't forget to favorite it if you have a Twitter account I want to recommend that you guys Follow me on Twitter on Ty's iPhone Help, and then if you'd like to, you can follow me on my personal Twitter. I'm on Ty's iPhone Help Twitter. I will post about iPhone news, like when I make a new blog post on Ty's iPhone Help.com, or just anything new that comes in iPhone iPod Touch, or when I post a new video. So you guys may be interested in following me on Ty's iPhone Help Twitter, and then if you'd like to follow my personal Twitter, that is welcome as well. And don't forget to check out Ty's iPhone Help.com, the best resource for iPhone iPod Touch news, downloads, more. See you guys later, and don't forget to push that little subscribe button over there.